<laughs> hey, this funny idea, right? Which I'm going to do in one of these days. I don't know when I'll do it. Um, maybe I'll wait till I hit 5,000 subs because then it'll be like, oh, it'll be like an event or something, you know, a big thing. But <laughs> I was going to, I was going for fun, right? Do like a musical vlog, right? Where like for the whole one day, for the whole day, as every time we're vlogging, like to sing it, like, you know, like some sort of like, good morning, everybody, welcome to the vlog. Good morning, Albi Kaka, welcome to the vlog. I'm doing a vacuum in, I'm doing a vacuum in, I'm gonna clean the house. He's doing a vacuum in, he's doing a vacuum in, he's gonna clean the house. You better watch out cause the vacuum's coming. Something along those lines. I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be kind of fun though, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna try and pick a day though that we actually don't do much because... People might stare everywhere and think this guy's a crazy, but it could be funny. What do you guys think? It's a good idea. Also, on the subject of singing, um, I used to be in a band, right? Years and 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 years ago, right? And we did all right. Like we kind of we toured around, we played some big gigs, but. When we were, we did this one gig where we played at Westlife in The Point, in the O2 as it's called now, in Dublin, right? And it was filmed, like, filmed back then. It was like, I think it was like high eight video camera. One of the guys, uh, John or his girlfriend, had filmed it. Now, I just happened to keep the video, but I was only talking to Alan, which was one of the guys the other day, and he says to me, like, oh, but you, um, do you have that video footage? Now, I think I uploaded, like, one tiny, teeny little part of it, but... I said I'd do it like ages ago and then I forgot and then he asked me again and then I forgot and then I keep forgetting to actually put it up so I was like right well I might as well go ahead and do that but I don't know what channel to put it on. I'm not putting it on the fluke so I was like I might go ahead and put it onto the Jonathan Jolie channel. Now like you can look at it if you want I don't really mind it's more for a nostalgic historical value because if you put it up there then it kind of stays there and then it's not going to disappear but I don't know I just thought I'd let you know that that's going to go up on my other channel. Also on the other channel. I know I should step out of the circle of commitment, guys, because I'm a failure. Well, I'm not really, because I didn't actually say I was going to commit myself to doing this. Actually, terms and conditions apply. If you go back and check the other blog, I never said, I never said, I never said, okay? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Go look, go look. I never said that I was going to do it. But I was try I tried to do the serious thing every week, but it's just there's so much other stuff going on, and I just keep forgetting about it, so... I don't, I don't know if I'm going like, to, I'm going to try and do it more like, but, you know, every day we're daily vlog, which means that every day you got to make a video, you know, and then, and then some days I'm making like two of them because I'm making a style life video, so then I'm either rendering, editing a style life video, rendering, editing, um, uh, the flu video, this is a Coney Jolie video, and then I'm encoding them because that's how you upload to YouTube, like, um, some people probably upload raw, uh, footage or they use some little compressors but if you use all them like you're gonna find that your upload times are ridiculous you know so what I tend to do is I encode them which is a process whereas I look at the, uh, the amount of um, bits per second that's being transferred and I cut it right down so most of mine like even a 20 minute vlog might only be a hundred meg you know which is pretty awesome because I'm pretty awesome okay if you have a question about that leave a comment below and I'll answer your question because I don't think a lot of people know about how to properly encode a video to upload it because especially in Ireland where infrastructure for internet is pretty darn crap. So if you've got like a really crap internet and you're trying to upload, you could be uploading for like two or three hours and then what if it fails or something like that, forgets you. You know, so the best trick you can do is encode them. There's some like, there's a lot of free stuff out there like we'll compress and all that. Like I used to use DivX which was pretty good but the uh, H.264 which is the QuickTime encoder, is very, very good. It's got a really, really steady um, data flow stream. Plus, YouTube itself actually encodes using the same format, which is FLV, and FLV comprises for onto VP6, and onto VP6 um, is the derivative of the H.264. What'd you say? What, what was all that? It was all just numbers, and numbers, and numbers, and numbers. But if anyone actually knows what I'm talking about, um, you can leave me a comment. That'd be kind of call, call, Carl, Carl is like cool, but it's Carl. So when Carl is cool, he's Carl. When Carl is cool, he's Carl. Anyway, what was I, what was I touching off there? 
<laughs> you know? The new musical thing. I'm going to put up the new entry videos. That's the band of Scott, by the way. New entry. New entry, gonna take you down. Anyway, um, it'll be a lot of fun. I think so. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. And I was thinking with the channel, like, if I'm not going to uh, specifically do the, um, the little toy stuff, like, I might do other little skits and other little things that sometimes I think about doing, but I never get a chance to. But then again, because... I'm doing the Star Life videos all the time, and then I'm also doing the Fluff, like the daily vlogs every single day as well. It's just, it can sometimes mount up that you're you're coming home from work and you're just like editing, rendering, compressing, encoding, uploading, finishing, importing, compressing, rendering, uploading, finishing, and then you're just like creating the thumbnails, putting them up, doing the annotations, creating everything up, setting it all up, and then next thing you know, you've got like no time left and you're like what so then you have all these plans of doing stuff you know so i'll try and get around to it i will try and get around to doing it like i've got to like i've been saying about putting up those band videos for about like three years i think i've been saying that to alan so <laughs> i probably should do it now now that i have like a decent computer and i'm able to actually um do the stuff properly like before when i was in uni um i had like the crappest computers and stuff so there's no way because these were done on video beta, which is like a video, VHS, you know, so I got to put it into a VHS machine and then I got to press play on the screen and then I got to set up my HD cameras and record from the screen, you know, while balancing all the light and aperture and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's a bit of a ridiculous situation, but I don't have a video player. I haven't had a video player in like two years or something like that. You know, when was the last time? Did any of you guys actually have video players or tape players? Do you know that car that we have? That has a tape player in it. Like, again, I'm not complaining because we got that car from nothing and it's totally awesome and it's falling apart, but that gives it more character and makes it more fun. But it has a tape player in it. Like, does anyone actually own a tape? I actually have a box of tapes upstairs, which were like mixed tapes, you know? Like, when I used to have, like, um, when I was younger and I had all these girlfriends and stuff, I used to, like, we used to make each other, like, tapes of, like, songs. Like, like oh, here's some, like, you know, Soul Train, and here's some, like, you know, Counting Crows, or Take That, or whatever, like, the Mushy song was, or a Gary Barlow Forever Love, that was a big hit, like, you know, and you listen back to them, you know, like, oh my god, like, what was I feeling like, and then you might write, like, you'd write a poem, and then you'd wrap the tape in, like, the poem, and then you'd, like, send it to her, you know, and then she'd, like, take out the tape, and then she'd, like, record a lot of songs, and write, like, something else, and then send it back, and the funny thing was, um... One of my, one of my like, long-term girlfriends when I was a kid was in school with my little sister, right? So every single day, I would actually write her a letter and then give it to my little sister. And my little sister would go to her in school. Because sister was like, probably in like first year and she was in like third year or something like that because we were only about 15. And then uh, she'd write a letter and hand it back to my sister and then hand it back to me. And then my little sister would be like a postal service. But sometimes mixed tapes got put in there, you know? And then you'd like draw all over the tape like love hearts and you'd sell the tape things on and you'd be all like expressing like and you'd be like I cry every day when we're apart how could this be you know <laughs> do you guys ever do that anyone ever do that leave me a comment if you've actually like made a mixtape for someone or used to do the sending letter things I'd say nowadays it's probably lost because you could be like oh head over to my iTunes store I put or go to watch a YouTube video or you know I'll text you or email you or something people don't even email I'm sure it's just like texting or I don't know telepathy probably some app or something but yeah I'd say there's a lot of that, a lot of that stuff is probably lost in uh, not in translation lost in technology hey that's a good one lost in technology I must use that at something